Welcome back to Snow Dogs Cooking. Today, you guys, we are making a short little video. At least I think it'll end up being short. Who knows, it might end up being longer than I anticipated. And we are going to be making some BLT dip. That's right. This is one of those things you can make for, you know, the big game. <laughs> because apparently you can't call it whatever you're supposed to call it. Like, they'll get mad at you. So yeah, for the big game, or if you're having a game night, which is, you know, why we usually make our dips, it's something easy, a little bit different and fun that you can try to make. So we're gonna make some BLT dip. And as always, we have the best helpers ever. Kira is already in here. Memphis hasn't figured out that I'm making food yet, but I'm sure she will be in here momentarily. The first thing we're gonna need is a pound of cooked bacon. Look, Memphis joined us. So what we're gonna do is we are going to preheat this oven. I'm actually going to use the convection bake and we're gonna preheat the oven to 400. Whoops, push the start button. And then we're gonna cook our bacon. If you don't have a convection oven, just preheat it to 400. And then we're gonna lay out our bacon. Now when I cook bacon in the oven, I tend to put it on a little raised rack. I put aluminum foil underneath it so that all the drippings have a place to catch. If you don't have a raised rack, you can just put it right on aluminum foil. As soon as the oven preheats, we're gonna pop this in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. You kind of want a crispy bacon. While the bacon is cooking, take out one block of cream cheese and leave it out to soften. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up a couple of tomatoes. This is BLT dip, even though there's no lettuce in it. You're supposed to put green onions in it, but I don't put green onions in it. I guess that's where the green would come in. Regardless. Tomatoes, depending on how much you like tomatoes, you can use one little one, one big one. I'm actually using three about this size. So we're gonna cut these up and de-seed them. So take all the seeds out and cut them up. Take the seeds out. And then we'll end up cutting all the tomatoes into little pieces. There's our tomatoes. So, I don't know. I probably have about a cup and a half. Bacon is starting to look delicious. These girls are like, yes, it smells amazing. Please give us all of the bacons. Now we're gonna get a bowl. We're going to get a cup of sour cream and a cup of mayonnaise. And don't forget, we got our cream cheese getting softened over here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and open this up and put it in there. Oh, I found something you can have a nibble of. How about some cream cheese? Cream cheese for you, and cream cheese for you. I took it off of there. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, let me wash my hands and keep doing what I was doing. You're also gonna need to measure out about a cup and a half of mild cheddar cheese. Oh, but wait, that means there's cheese. Okay, you can have a little bit, and you can have a little bit. They're like, we can't not have cheese when you open a cheese bag. <laughs> Look at that delicious bacon. So because we are going to cut this up, you're gonna to wanna to let this sit for about five to 10 minutes to cool down a little bit before we attempt to cut it up. If your bacon is super extra greasy, you can also pat it with a paper towel, but ours actually looks pretty good. Oh wow, the bacon's cooling. Preheat your oven to 350. Ours is probably already that hot. Oh, close, but not quite. Get out a two quart baking dish. In a bowl, take your one block of softened cream cheese, add one cup of sour cream and one cup of mayo. And we're gonna stir all this together. All mixed, set it aside. Take half your bacon after it's a little bit cooled. It's a pretty crispy bacon. It's not burnt, but it is crispy. We're gonna take it and put it on a cutting board. Take a pizza roller and just start cutting it into little pieces. Pizza cutter works amazing. About till it looks like that. Then add it to your bowl. Repeat with second half of bacon and also add it to the bowl. Now take the one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese, pour that in your bowl, and take all of your tomatoes and pour those in as well. And then stir, stir, stir. Now realistically, at this point, you have two options. You could actually take this and put it in a container and put it in the fridge and chill it for a couple hours and serve it cold. But we're making baked BLT dip. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in a pan and put ours in the oven. That's about how it's gonna look. Pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes. 
hot out of the oven. Listen to that. Nice and bubbly. Now for those of you that may be wondering what you can eat this with, you can make some toast and eat little toast sticks. You can use crackers. You can use chips. You can use tortilla chips. You can use Doritos. You can use carrot sticks. I don't know, whatever the heck you want. Pita chips would be good. So really, any type of chip or cracker or whatever you want to dip this in. We're gonna let this cool just a little bit and then we're gonna try it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, woo, fogged up the camera. Nice and cheesy. Look at this perfection. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Let's try it. I'm gonna try it on the Ritz cracker. Let's see what we think. That's a big bite, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's really good. Mm. I can see, like I said, you could add green onions to this or sprinkle a little bit of lettuce on top after it's done cooking. That would probably be pretty good, but that's really good as is. That's delicious, that's, that's really good. <laughs> well, let us know you guys if you end up making this and as always tag us on our Instagram, show us that you made it. We would love to see if you guys end up making this. I feel like my mouth is full. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. Hold on. Well, you can't have any of the dip, but how about a piece of toast? Piece of toast? All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. I'm going to eat this. We'll see you again soon.